Good day everyone, 2023 is on the horizon, and what that means is that the winter anime season is almost here. But with so much bad anime nowadays, how can you know what is worth watching? Well that's what we are here for, right? Before we start the video, if you like our videos, consider subscribing to the channel, it motivates us to keep going making videos. So a series you guys have to watch is Campfire Cooking in Another World. It is one of the isekai that had been waiting to be animated for quite a while. I am surprised it took this long because it is one of the most popular isekai in Japan. In terms of story it is an yashke, since it has little to no overarching plot. The story simply revolves mostly around the main character cooking for his companions, pets and the gods that love his food as well. The animation is going to be done by MAPPA, one of the most best known studios in recent times. So the animation should be of good quality. I think this is going to be one of the top isekai of the season, and it's a sure watch for Yashike and isekai fans. It's a really chill series that will look really good, that's all I need to know. However one series to avoid is Strigon Stampede. This is a remake of the classic late 90s anime series Trigun. I actually enjoyed the 90s Trigun, it is quite a fun series and it's one that I think everyone that likes anime should give a go at least once. It's because I actually like the original series that I think this remake should probably be avoided. There is no reason for a remake to be made of this series, when the 90s series is still a perfectly fine version to watch. Another reason to avoid it is that I feel like they are simply trying to appeal to novelty by making it CGI, and it's quite disgusting really. It adds a new element for viewers that watch the old version, but it's not a positive element, because it honestly will not have better animation than the series from the 90s. So for the novelty it will be fine, but I think that is a bit lazy. In addition, I can't say the stuff looks any good despite this being a classic work, so just stick to the 90s series and forget this ever existed. However moving back to a series you guys should actually watch, it's Spy Classroom. Spy Classroom is a light novel that I actually talked about before in my video about light novels a while back. It's a series that resembled the high school battle setting with Haran, which is a type of light novel that fell to the wayside with the rise of Isekai. However the main character here is not a fellow student, but a teacher instead, that is supposed to mentor a group of bad students in the spy academy. The spy setup is interesting, and apparently war in this novel is not between countries, but between spies, so war between countries are conducted in the background between these spies. So training spies naturally is an important thing, and the main character is one of the strongest within his own country. The Haran element comes from the fact that all of his class is made up of girls, but he's a badass main character, so it should be a cool series to see, especially as Spy X family has done quite well with spies. Obviously, this series is quite different from that one though. Moving on, now we have our first Maybe. Maybe is a series that you might want to watch, but it's not one I think is a must watch, but it's also not one you shouldn't watch. So it's up to you, I think they have some good points, but they also have some bad points as well. Farming Life in Another World is another Yashike like Isekai, it's odd how many of these ended up coming in the same season. However in this one we have our main character die after a life of constant illness. After his death he gets transported to another world, and God gives him the chance to reincarnate in another world with one blessing. The main character asks him if he can ever be ill again. God accepts and sends him off. In this world the main character is in the middle of a forest in his lonesome, so he decides to begin his life as a farmer. I don't find this series to be bad or anything, the only reason it's not on the watch is because they are series superior to it, like campfire, cooking in another world. By superior I mean mostly in the technical department though, because looking at the stuff for this series, I think you'll likely have quite poor animation. Anyway, it will still be an alright slice of life series, but there are better options so, so it's just a maybe. Back to a series you guys should watch, we have 
Handyman Saito in Another World. It's another isekai that has some comfy elements. Unlike Campfire Cooking, it's more about the development of the main character and the comedy. So it is a story about the main character coming out of this shell in this other world where he feels he is actually needed, unlike the world he previously lived, aka our world. Animating this series is Studio C2C, a studio that has done quite a few isekai previously. The staff working on it is alright, however the main reason I think this is a watch is probably because it has a much bigger comical component, while still having that slice of life uncomforting story. So you have good comedy and comfiness, a great mix. Now we move on to another series you guys should probably avoid. Ice Blade Sorcerer will rule the world. Reminds me a lot of Spy Classroom in that it also is that sort of harem school life battle light novel story. That was a big trend back in the 2010s. The reason that trend kind of fizzled out was because of Isekai that took over the light novel industry by storm, like I previously mentioned. I do have a nostalgia for works like this, but this one is likely going to be quite poor in the animation department. The reason I think this is likely to suck and it's worth avoiding is that it just smells of a series that will have meme worthy animation. My bad animation senses are tingling for this series and for an action series that is kind of a huge negative. Terrible animation is a lot more prominent in the Japanese animation industry of today, sadly though. If a work like this was given better animation, I'm sure it would not be one to avoid, but it is what it is. So avoid it is. So now we have another maybe. Kinda of the Snow Sea is an original anime project by Tsutomu Nihei, the author behind the popular Sindonia no Kishi and Blame series. This series was announced last year and I have been very much interested in seeing it since back then. Part of it is because I'm a big fan of the general worldview and setup Tsutomu Nihei does. His worlds are always quite fantastical, but with many eerie elements. However, I'm a bit disappointed that this is being done by Polygon Pictures, because their CGI is often quite stiff and ugly, especially when it comes to the models. However, I still think it's a series that is likely to stand out significantly from anything else in the season, because of Nihei's style, and that is enough for this series to be in the maybe section. So if you want some cool, quite eerie world, you should give this one a watch, but the animation does kind of put you off. From one maybe to another. Onichan wa Oshimai is a series that I'm likely going to watch. I like the comical element of a man being made into a little girl. Don't judge, I have read the original manga for this series and I had been waiting for an anime adaptation of it and I'm happy it's finally happening. The main reason for that is the animation style. It reminds me a lot of Lucky Star, which is an anime series that I actually really enjoy re-watching every year or so. Studio Bind is behind the animation, and this is the studio that handled Jobless Reincarnation. And that looked quite good, didn't it? It's a new studio, but it has shown stellar animation work so far, and this seems like it will continue that track record. So this is definitely a one I will watch, but the theme can be quite a cringy for some people, so it's in the maybe section. Now from a maybe we move on to a series you definitely should avoid. Apparently Disillusioned Adventurers will save the world. It's an isekai-ish series and by that I mean it's a series with the isekai kind of setting but none of the characters come from another world. That in itself is not a problem, but what is the big problem for this type of series is that they feel like they're churned out in an attempt to tap into the isekai trend, even if most of them just fail miserably. This series is simply not well served in a season with so many other isekai-ish series, especially many that have a better studio and staff working for them. So in other words, this is likely going to be quite poor and story-wise it won't bring anything to the table that other isekai in the season can't do so it's probably going to be one of the worst isekai-ish series of the season. After looking for quite a few series that you might want to avoid and some that you might give a try, now we have finally one that you should definitely watch again. Kubo-san wa boku wo yuru sanai. 
It's a romance comedy series that is so absurdly sweet that it might cause diabetes. It has a similar feel to it that series like Takagi-san has, but in this case our main character is someone that wants to be alone. In part this is because he feels himself to be a mob character, that sits in the background in any story and has no presence whatsoever. However, Kubo-san, the beautiful girl that sits next to him, notices him and does not leave him alone. The beautiful girl falling for the loner guy cliche, if only that ever happened in real life. So the main character, who feels himself to be invisible to the point of no one noticing him, is hassled by Kubo-san, that does not leave him alone. The story gradually develops and the main character begins to open up to Kubo-san and other friends that he makes along the way. It's quite a sweet romance comedy series, so it's a must watch for anyone that's in that sort of genre. It's definitely one that I will probably watch even if I can't take that much sweetness. So moving on from one rom-com that you should watch, so now we move on to one that you maybe will want to watch. Tomo wa Ona no Ko It's a romance comedy series that was quite popular with manga readers, but it's been a couple of years since its heyday and the end of the series, so it's quite surprising to see this getting animated only now. I feel like it just comes a bit too late. However, I find that the studio and staff working behind the series seems to be quite competent. In addition, the PV looks reasonably good. So whilst this is probably not going to be the rest romance comedy of the season, Kubo-san will be, in my view, that series, it's still one that is worth watching. So it's in the maybe section, because that's something that I think is better than it already. So that was the winter season guys, so now you guys know what is worth watching, what maybe might be worth giving a try, and what to avoid watching if you want to have any kind of sanity. Everything else from the season that is missing from here is in a margin between avoid and maybe. So they might be worth giving a shot but there are also some things that kind of don't look right so I feel like they're probably ones to avoid. But that's just my view. So what series are you guys most excited for in the 2023 winter anime season? Leave it in the comments down below, and if you have made it this far, consider subscribing and ringing the bell to support the channel. Thank you, catch you guys later.